All right, everyone's coming in. <laughs> Hello. Welcome ah. to the second session of Trapfy um, Training Camp, day two. <laughs> we have <laughs> made it. Day two, we're only halfway through. Well, we're not halfway through, I guess, until the next webinar. Then we'll be about halfway mm -hmm. through, which is yep. crazy. It's going quick. <clears throat> but just welcome everybody. Um, here, I'll let, I know they're, there we go. Good. Hello, all. Welcome. I just always Hi. want to make sure there's someone in the chat to make sure that we are like um, out there and, and everything is working and everything's good. So that is good confirmation. Um, so just want to welcome you all. I know this is a really big uh, webinar because it's cruises. So if anybody was on um, the Facebook live right before this, um, they, we talked about cruises and it just like sent craziness in the comments. Cause there's just so many people doing cruises and mm -hmm. just, yeah, so many on here. So, which is really cool too. So we have, so Haley's going to present. So I'm going to pass it off to, um, to Haley and Kathy here in just a couple minutes, but then we also brought in our resident cruise expert, Kathy. So it's gonna be really cool. It's gonna be a really fun time uh, with these two ladies on this webinar. But before we get into the fun stuff, I do always like to go over just um, just a quick overview of the rest of the week and um, and what to expect if this is the first time that you're joining us during training camp. Um, is that if you join five or more of these webinar sessions, um, you will actually get training camp certified. Um, so it's really awesome. And you will get like a little mm -hmm. virtual badge. Yeah, it's super <laughs> cool. You get a little virtual badge. You can put it, you know, in your, on your email signature website, wherever you want. Um, and then you'll also get a certificate. So it's really cool. And uh, just a great way to stand out, you know, from the, from the rest and be like, I attended, I know, I know these things. So, um, we'll contact you in probably about a week or two. Um, we'll know that you have um, been certified. Uh, so no need to reach out or anything. We'll know. And then, um, we'll reach out and send all that information to you. But another thing that we're going to send information to you on is, and again, if you've been on these other sessions, you already know, but if you haven't big surprise here, we have Travify certification that is going to be launching. So training camp is just for this week only that training camp certification, but Travify certification is like the real deal, like the big Travify certification. Um, and we're going to be launching that next week. And everybody who is part of training camp this week. So all of you on here right now, you're going to get exclusive first access where it will send you an email probably middle next week or so, um, and let you know when this is ready. Um, but we're going to have Travify certification and then an advanced level as well. So got to throw it out there. So if anyone wants to succeed even higher, you can do the advanced one. Um, and then we do also have the CLIA certification um, right now as well. And, and I'm going to stop really quick because I know Kathy's, um, she is a CLIA member. And um, can you just quickly tell us how this works? Because I know you took this, you took, you are Travify certified it with CLIA. I am um, CLIA. Uh, CLIA certified with Travify. <laughs> Travify certified with CLIA. Um, yeah, you do not have to be a member of CLIA, nor does your agency. It is one of those elective courses you can take for certification. So I would highly recommend that you do that. And you're going to find it in all of the CLIA courses where they also have all of the, um, the cruise lines. So it's going to be in the same area at the bottom under technology. Yeah, and how you access it is go to certification.travify.com. Um, and I will put that. Oh, yeah, it says Clea Travify was a good, easy certification. That's right. Yep. We keep it easy because we don't want this to be something that you have to, you know, stumble on and, and just really get it. We don't want it to be hard. We just want it to be knowledgeable. Um, and the great thing about the Clea certification for Travify is that it's all focused around cruises. So when we talk about like marketing sales with Travify, it's based around cruises. So that's the great thing about that. So yeah. definitely recommend checking that out um, in there. Um, and then the final thing that I wanna mention is that um, happy hour. We always Yay. like to remind you <laughs> that when this ends on Thursday, so we'll be going until Thursday, but on Thursday at 4 PM Eastern, we are going to have, we're going to end everything with travel trivia, happy hour. So definitely join us. You can register at travifytrainingcamp.com and um, there'll be prizes. So you really should join. So it'll be a really good time. It'll be fun. I'm sad to say I will miss it because I will be on a flight on my way to a cruise. Yep. So it's okay. We will forget. We are going to miss you. We know. We're going to be jealous. But yes. <laughs> yeah. We're like, oh, we. 
maybe the, the maybe I can swing, you know, like um, Scott or David, and ask if the top prize can be you get on a flight tonight and get on that cruise <laughs> with Kathy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> one on one trainings. One on one trainings. Yeah, there the you go. That's nothing better than that. That's great. Yeah. I like that. That's cool. Um, but definitely <laughs> join us for that. Um, you can register and you'll get reminded when uh, before when it's coming up. Um, the last thing that I'll say too is that um, this is being recorded. <clears throat> all of our sessions are being recorded. Um, so you can watch all the recordings on um, TravifyTrainingCamp.com. Um, so you can go there and get those recordings uh, in there. But that is all that I will say for now. And um, Haley and Kathy, I'm going to pass it off to you. And then I'll be in the chat awesome. and I'll be helping um, to gather some stuff for our Q&A and answer some questions in there. So you might get some messages from me, everyone. Awesome. Okay. I'm going to start sharing my screen, Stephanie. I'm going to kick you out of there. And let me just make sure I'm getting the right window. There we go. All right. Should be seeing my Travify. Yep, can confirm. Awesome, perfect. Just rearranging some things here for everyone. Sorry, just getting my everything pulled up. All right, perfect. Well, thanks again, everyone, for joining this session. I'm excited to have you all with us. And so for today, I'm gonna be walking you guys through how to build a proposal for a cruise. And then we will convert that over to an itinerary so you can get that full experience. And then we'll talk about delivery and kind of sharing and sending all of the good, all of the good things. Um, along the way, I'll be hitting on a lot of our core features and sharing all of my top tips and tricks as we go through. Now, before we dive into that though, I wanted to hand it over to Kathy just a little bit. She is our industry resident expert. She's really the icing on top of the cake here today. Um, she's going to be giving us, you know, helpful little um, tips and hints. So I just wanted to kind of let her kind of introduce herself here for a minute at the beginning. And um, maybe you could just tell us about yourself, your background, and why Travify is great for building those uh, cruise itineraries. Yeah, I would be happy to, Haley. Thank you. I've been in industry, like many of you watching, for longer than I care to share at this point. It's been a really long time. Um, I'm actually um, completing my ACC, accredited cruise counselor, through CLIA right now, which is why I'm going on the second cruise. Um, I like Travify and was drawn to it a long time ago because once the internet became a thing and brochures started disappearing, and I know we all miss those really beautiful 10, 20, 30 page brochures. We had nothing to offer our clients during the sales process. And so I like that now I can build something that is, in a sense, a brochure. It's a thing that they can open the pictures, they can open links, they can watch videos. It feels like something tangible and something that your clients can participate in the process when they are shopping for a cruise. So that's my favorite part of what we do here at Travify. Um, and again, I've been around a long time, so I, I do miss ordering cases and cases and cases <laughs> of brochures from all the suppliers. And, um, you know, but this is, a, it's kind of a nice middle ground. It gives them... And it also gives you an edge as a travel agent, because if everybody else is sending a copy and paste email, or maybe just a word document, this is definitely going to make you shine. Awesome. All right. Well, with that, we're going to go ahead and dive in. So I'm sharing my screen and what you guys are looking at right now is the, you know, main page of Travify. Essentially I'm on my trips page. It's kind of your dashboard and general <laughs> housekeeping here. So I know there's some people on that have never seen Travify before. So essentially when you get logged in, this is that first place that you're going to end up on. And um, inside of here, you'll see I have all my trips, itineraries, proposals in that center aisle. Left-hand side, you're going to see the option to create a new trip. You have a bunch of filter options here too on that left-hand side. So this is where you begin. And when you're ready to create a trip, you're going to press this big blue button plus new trip. You're going to see two options, proposal and itinerary. Let me just explain the differences with those. And um, then we're going to jump in and create a proposal today because that's where you typically start off in that sales process. So proposals, when you share them with your client, um, you know, for you guys as a Travify user, it's really not different. You're going to be in our trip builder. You're going to be adding in all the information. What's different is what your clients see. So proposals, when you share that with them, there's going to be a big blue button that they can click on to approve that proposal. Once they do that, it automatically converts over to an itinerary. And at that itinerary stage, that's when they get access to the mobile apps that we have for you guys. And also they can print off the PDF on their own and they're getting all those live automatic flight updates too at the itinerary stage. So 
That's really diff the difference. And you guys are going to see that all in action today. You're going to see that all this whole, the whole entire process of how you can create a proposal and convert that over to an itinerary. And so, like I said, we're going to start off and, um, you know, with this proposal option, just keep in mind, um, you can always click on itinerary and you guys can manually change this to at any point um, at, at, in that trip building process. So now I'm inside of the trip builder and um, general housekeeping items here at the top is our nav bar. So trips takes you back to your main trips page. You're going to see settings here, and this is where you're going to go in to enter in the foundation of your trip. So you're going to plug in, um, you know, the actual name, the start date. Um, maybe you're going to add in a description, all that fun stuff. So we're going to do that together. I'm just going to go in here. We're going to go on a little Mediterranean um, cruise. We'll plug in that start date and let's just bounce this out here to the 15th of April. And then for pricing, um, you can enter in a price here and I'll, I'll do that just to kind of show you guys where this is going to go. I got, had the um, super pro tip from Kathy to add in starting yet. Um, and we're going to do that up here. So these change, right, Kathy? Um, just this is a kind of, she was telling me, hey, plug in starting at, that's what a lot of people are doing there. So I'm going to yeah. throw that inside of there. Um, in the description area, this, of course, is where you guys could throw in um, extra information, maybe a welcome note, a thank you note, um, maybe more further breakdown of pricing. You can plug that inside of there. It's just a great spot because it shows up at the very top of the um, proposal or itinerary, whatever you're sharing. It's hard to miss. Your clients won't miss it. So if you have something really important, throw it inside of there. And then I typically don't go, um, I'm not going to go through all these settings, but you, but if you guys do have questions about them, you can ask them too. And Stephanie can help, you know, answer those right now, or we'll jump in there at the end and do some Q and A. So there we go. Um, going on to more, this is where you guys can add in travelers to that particular trip. You'll also find embed code later on if you do want to embed that. And then on the right-hand side is sharing and sending. So we're going to go ahead and build um, this out here. And on my left-hand side, you're going to see the, the menu of days. So if I wanted to um, go in and add in more days, I just click on plus new day to do that. Um, maybe I'm going to make this a little bit nicer. We're going to go ahead and change that background cover photo here too. So bottom right-hand corner of that image, change cover photo. Here you can search our database. This includes a ton of high-res quality photos, royalty-free. You guys can use them. If you have your own, go ahead and upload one here. Um, you can also grab one from a website and then good old copy and paste. So you have different options there. Um, what I'm going to do is just look for an image in our database. I'm just going to punch in the Mediterranean here and search, and let's see what we get here. We'll grab this cool rock looking thing. There we go. Perfect. All right. So changing that cover photo. And now I've kind of built out my days. Um, you know, if you know your days, I always encourage people to build them out just because when you start building your trip, you click on this left hand side, and then you're going to go up here to new event. And, and this is where you can go to add in an activity. You can look up cruises, you can look up tours, you can import in booking. So all that fun stuff, flights, that's where you're going to go to start adding in all of that information. And so this cruise is taken off on the 17th, actually. So we're going to jump down to the 17th and we're going to bring in a cruise right away. So I'm going to go up to new event cruise. And this is how you search for a cruise. So very easy. Um, one thing I will stress is just make sure that you guys are out looking this up on the date that it departs. You'll see your little date reminder up there. Um, one thing I run into a lot with support is people are accidentally just on that wrong date. So it's always good to get into that habit of clicking on your day first and then start building that day. And for this one, we're going to go with the Epic. Oops, I always forget. Got to punch in Norwegian. Got to spell it right, though. There we go. And there's that Western Mediterranean, that's seven days. I'm gonna go ahead and click get itinerary. This does give you guys a preview. And so this is just good to take a peek at, make sure that this is the right, right cruise that you want. This one looks good to me. So I'm just gonna add this to my itinerary and you'll see this builds out the rest of my days for me. So really cool. Um, there it goes, took a second. So it's gonna build out the rest of my days. You can see this here, I'll just kind of scroll down. And that first day, I love this first day. It gives you extra information. You have that kind of time, embarkation, notes, and extra ship information. And you have all the deck plans too. You have that. Um, there's going to be an image of that route. 
um, cruise ship. So it looks really awesome. That comes in right away for you. And here's just a little peek at these other days. You can see um, there's Monday, there's the time, the port of call. So that's essentially what you guys um, will be getting inside of there. And you can always add information, you know, or, or take things away. So if I go back up here, if you guys wanted to adjust this, click on the pencil, maybe add in your own little two cents, your expertise. You can certainly do that. Um, anytime to click on the pencil right here, you can see I can jump into that notes area. I can add in more images if I want to. So you're always in full control. You guys can add in information whenever you'd like. All right, so um, what I'm gonna do here next, so you could just send this off. You know, you could uh, just bring in that cruise and, and share this with your clients. But what I wanna do is spice it up a little bit and kind of a fun way to present um, or add more information is maybe adding in like a little meet your ship. And so this is something that I have seen advisors do where they plug in a little, you know, meet your ship. So we're gonna do that. Um, we're gonna add in some things here too, just to kind of give you guys inspiration on different things that you can do. And we'll start here. We're going to stay on the 17th. I'm going to add this manually. Um, and then I'm going to talk a little bit more about, you know, the library too. We're going to tie that in as well. So I'm going to go up here, new event. And we'll let this live here as, we're going to say um, cruise still, but I'm going to add the cruise manually. There's an option right here. And so here's my little window. And for the title, we're just going to say, hey, this is the meet your ship, the Norwegian Epic. Um, I have some notes here and I'm just grabbing this from my other screen, but I really just got this from Norwegian's site there. Copy and paste action. It's really quick, easy to get. And then down below, I'm going to add in some images. So right here in multimedia, um, we're going to bring in some images and you guys can do, you know, search our database. If you have your own, certainly upload those copy and paste. There is the option to embed a video too. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to show you guys how this works. Um, in case some of you don't know, you can embed videos from YouTube or Vimeo. We'll grab this one, adding that in. Awesome. And then we'll go, we'll jump back here to um, website too. I'm actually going to grab one, a few photos from the site just to kind of round this out and add more to it. Everyone's super visual. They love those pictures as Kathy was saying from, you know, the brochure days, really taking them to it. So here, let's just plug in and you can add up to five multimedia events. There we go. Save changes. Perfect. So there is a little meet your, you know, your ship. And um, if I wanted to rearrange this, I could certainly do that. Just pro tip here, edit. And then here I can actually drag and drop these things to kind of move them around to wherever I'd like. So done. There we go. And you can see there's that little meet your, meet your ship there. So this is something, you know, that was easy to create. It just adds a little bit more to the itinerary here. And um, if it's something that you guys would like to save for reuse, you should absolutely do that. That's going to tie in your library here. So if you guys aren't familiar with your library, it's actually hanging out just right over here on this right-hand side. There's two areas. So there's your items. That's everything that you have created and saved for reuse. We also have city guides. We'll get to city guides in a little bit. We're talking about your items. And so this is one of those things that I would encourage you guys to, if you are, maybe you are a Norwegian, you know, person, you're taking people on that cruise all the time, um, or the specific one, what you can do is save this to your library. And then later on, you can just drag and drop that over. And so how do you do that? Go up here, pencil icon. Anytime you create an event, you can go in, click on those three little dots and save it to your library. I'll do that right now. I actually have this saved. Um, I'll just show you. I'm going to put it underneath my training camp label, saving it. And so if you guys were working on a totally different trip, and I'll click on the 16th just to give us a blank slate, you could go in and find that. Can't, I can't type today, but that, that's all right. Training camp, you're going to see all my items. And here's meet your ship. There's the one I just saved. You can just drag and drop it over. So that is the power of the library really saves you guys a ton of time. And if you're adding information to a itinerary or proposal constantly, save it to your library. There's no reason you guys need to be doing that work over and over again, save it to your library. And on this one, I'm just gonna delete this guy out of here because we're gonna come back to this day and we're gonna be adding in more information. So next thing we're gonna talk about is um, adding in cabin options. So there are kind of multiple ways to do this. And again, just trying to give you guys some inspiration on you know, what you can do inside of there. Um, 
you certainly could do this just by, you know, editing the first event of that cruise and adding in like those different cabin options right there on that first event. You could create a completely new event. And that's what we're going to do. I'm actually going to create a totally new event. We're going to use the lodging icon just to get that. Um, I'm not going to search for any lodging. I want that. I want the bed here that I'm talking about. So this little icon right there, that's what I'm going to use. We're going to bring that in and then kind of um, just create something from scratch. So we're going to add in some cabin options and some pricing here. And I have some super sweet tips to talk about there. Um, again, I'm not going to search for a property. I'm going straight down to add lodging manually. And we're on the 17th. I want to stay on that day. And what I'll do here is I'll plug in the title, cabin option and pricing. Um, and I might plug in in the little description area, just a little note here, like, hey, you know, these are these op awesome options that I have for you. And what I'm going to use now is the table tool that we have up here. So in your toolbar, you have some awesome tools. And one of them is a table. This just helps for organizing um, information. It's a nice way to do it. I'm going to click on that. You can see here, I can make it however I like. We're going to do a good old two by two there. And then what I'll plug in is I might say, you know, this is the club balcony suite. Kathy probably has a better um, name for, for this than I could, than I could use. Um, we could throw this in. Um, I might add in notes below. You get the idea. You can readjust. And if I wanted to add in another um, line or column there, um, we could do that. We'll do row. Oops. That's fine. Um, we could plug in here, maybe the price. So you get the idea. This is just um, just to give you guys some inspiration on what you can do to display information, maybe different cabins and everything. Um, we'll say the, the spa. Let's say there's a spa one or something. Here we go. Readjust that. And our price for this guy. So. Yeah, so this is a great place, Haley, as you're saying, to go mm -hmm. ahead and offer different categories and options. So if you wanted to offer three options, interior, ocean view, and balcony for comparison, this is a great place to add all three. Ocean view, I like it. There we go. <laughs> so we'll throw that in. Yeah. And of course, you can like, you know, I'm showing you can expand that you can do um, add in much more information that notes area does expand for you. So done editing there. And we'll let that kind of live there at at the bottom. Um, now we're going to keep on uh, moving on here. And I know um, some of you are probably wondering about add-ons or excursions and all of that um, fun stuff. So I have some more ideas just to help you guys um, utilize, you know, Travify for that and kind of leverage the different tools that we have inside of here. And so where do you place this stuff? Um, you can place it wherever you'd like on the day, probably that that excursion is happening. It's probably the, the best best spot for it. Um, but what I always like to say is, you know, what, what you don't share, you can't sell. So add on, add in those add-ons, right? Kathy yeah, can tell. Absolutely. Can, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Perfect. Upsell, so upsell. <laughs> there we go. Upsell. And so, um, I'm just going to add in some information. Oh, looks like we lost Haley for a second. I can still hear Haley. Oh, I think she knows. Hold on. Let's give it a second here. Okay, wait, Haley, I think you're moving. <laughs> she moved. Um, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah, the camera's okay. off though. Maybe yeah, go ahead I and turn it off. Okay. Just to... Can you turn like the little click the camera button on your thing so it like closes it down? There yeah. you go. Better. Cool. Okay. Yep. We're we gonna. Can hear <laughs> Sorry, everybody. We internet issues, technology for me. It's all my fault. So um, we'll fun. keep going. You're just we'll doing going. such an awesome job. It can't handle it. You know? Oh, you're so awesome. Yeah, <laughs> probably not, but all right, we'll keep going here. If it happens going. again, um, I'll let you take over Steezy. So here we go. We're going to, we're talking about, um, doing some add-ons excursions. And so I'm going to move down here to the 19th. Um, we're going to add in something together manually. And again, I'm getting this information just from Norwegian site. I, you know, looked up that cruise and found this information there. And we're going to add this now to the 19th. And I'll, I'll add in a few, few other ideas as well. So I'm going to go up to new event. Activity is a good choice for that. 
And then I'm going to throw in the title here. This is going to be an optional excursion. And again, saying it's optional because, you know, I'm sharing it with them. We want to upsell. Here we go. I'm going to add in some notes area. Excuse me. I'm going to add in some notes in the notes area. I'm going to add it. There we go. And I got a few more. And of course you want to add in, you know, pictures for this because everything that's visual is the, you know, helps sell and all of that. Everyone is so visual today. So I'm going to grab in um, a link here to bring in some information. So again, just kind of utilizing the website tool to quickly bring in some images. If my internet's going to allow me, we'll see what it does. There we go. We'll bring in, that looks great. Who doesn't like um, tomato basil salad. There we go. Done editing. All right. So there's a good old option. Um, and now what I'll do is I'll just pull some other ones over from, from the, the library that I have. And, um, just to add in some more, um, kind of bake this in a bit more. And on this day here too, I might throw in here. I have all these sorted out with my labels. So this helps me quickly get to items. You can see I'm having it filtered here on my right-hand side underneath the library here, training camp. Um, I do have other ones for the Norwegian excursions. You'll see they kind of pop up. So again, just to hit this home, you guys, library really saves you a ton of time. I'm just going to drag and drop this one over here too. So I've given them two options. Now, I didn't add any pricing in for those things, but you guys, there's a price field for that. You can add that in. Um, you could, of course, add that in the notes area, maybe put in the, you know, starting at. Um, you can add in more images too. So you can really, you know, beef that up and make it awesome. Um, we'll bring in one more here. I'm just going to bring in the optional excursion here. So you can see I can bring in things. And this one, I added in a little table tool. We kind of covered that too already. So just different ways. Um, some other things that you would add on, Kathy, um, what are some other things that you would maybe, you know, upsell and tie to beer? Where could you add them? Yeah. So uh, one of the things definitely we want to focus on right now still is insurance, which is usually a fairly high commissionable sale. Um, mm -hmm. Offering that insurance and explaining it, uh, even including it as maybe a form that they can accept it and showing what that cost is would be a good one. Drink packages are also a good way to do some upsales that you can add as well here. Perfect. Yeah. But I just brought over my little sample. Um, don't forget, you know, travel insurance. Um, I placed that in the info and docs area. You guys could put this anywhere, but that info and doc area, that's really kind of, you know, for things that are not specific to a day. And so that's why I'm plugging in that travel insurance there that will show up at the end of the itinerary. But kind of as Kathy noted, you could use um, a form to share this information and you could of course move that on up, you know, you can make that something a part of this itinerary by adding it into a day too, if you guys want to. So mm -hmm. certainly flexible. Now we're going to talk about adding in some pre-cruise info. So I'm going to touch on just how to add in flights. Cause I know that's always important. Um, we're going to bounce up to the 15th and I'm just going to walk you guys through how you can add in flights here. We'll go up to new event. We'll go to flight and fastest way to bring in a flight is really the flight number option. Um, you're just simply going to plug in that airline. And then you're going to plug in that flight number, get info. You're going to see here's that flight. Now pro tip for you guys. If you have um, multiple flights, let's say for your customers here on the same day, just add in that next flight number right here and then add them all at once. So saves you a little bit of time there. Again, that's for flights that are departing on, you know, taking off on that same day, just connecting flights. Here's what they look like. So you can see here, 510 departure. Here's my arrival. Um, just to note, now your clients do get automatic flight updates. And once this is an itinerary, so we're not seeing that here yet, you normally would see a green check mark. So just kind of keep that in mind. That's one of those differences between proposals and itineraries. And then we're going to add in some lodging too. So we're going to kind of tie that in. Um, I am going to look up some lodging in our places database. So I'm going to go up to new event lodging here, and I'm going to search for a property and we're going to go to the El Palace Hotel. This is going to be in Barcelona. That looks grand. There we go. And um, down below, I always like to say this in my trainings too, you're going to get that checkout date automatically set for that next day. And so this is a great way that's just going to save you time. If you guys let that live, you know, let that event kind of build itself. You can do that. So you're creating the check-in, you're creating the checkout. You don't have to go back in and redo that if you leave this date inside of here. And you can always move that around. So if you're not sure about it, 
If you add it to the itinerary, you can see here is the check-in and here's my checkout down at the bottom. And so I can actually, you know, I can move this over here, little pro tip, you can see I can move it to a different day and I can move this around within the day. I can click on edit up here. This is gonna allow me to move things around very easily. So before they get on that ship, they're gonna check out first, of course. And there you go, you can move it up at the top. And we're gonna go back into that check-in. So you can of course make this more visual. Um, you can add in um, some notes to it. You can add in photos, all that fun stuff, which we'll do just to make this look really realistic here. Going back into multimedia, um, I'm gonna grab in some images from their site directly. So that website tool comes in handy. Uh, it just really helps you get in some images super quick and we can really just add, add to it, kind of give them a good sense and feel of where they're gonna be staying. Save changes. One more, there you go, there's my check-in. And um, also, with that library, City Guides. So I mentioned this before. So City Guides is one of our really cool features that really helps you guys just add in information to your trip. And this is tapping into our pre-built database of you know templates. This is gonna cover over 645 destinations worldwide. And you can simply search for the city and then again, drag and drop over the City Guide. And so we're gonna, I'm gonna bring over um, Barcelona. We're gonna go right out to there. Um, we're going to bring in a city guide from there. Now, what you're seeing here is the first guide. This includes all of these sections below it. So there's the city, there's top 10, do and see, dining, cafes, bars, nightlife, a ton of information. So, and again, these are all pre-built. Pre They're going to be, there's, it's going to have awesome content and really beautiful photos. All you got to do is drag and drop it over. Now, the first guide, that's going to bring over everything. And I know that can be a little overwhelming. I do get the question, hey, can I pick and choose? what I wanna share, yes, you can. You don't have to bring everything over. Maybe you just wanna talk about the city, here you go. Drag, drop it over. Here's the city, check this out, really cool content, really beautiful photos right away. And you know, top 10, maybe you wanna see what those are before you even bring it over. Just keep on scrolling, keep scrolling. There you go, here's my top 10. And so you can pick and choose um, one of these. And if you're not a drag and drop fan, that's okay. There's this little plus button right here. You can click on that, you can see it adds it to the trip right there. So easy to use and you guys are in full control. You can always edit the information, just click on the pencil. So maybe there's something you'd like to add. Maybe you'd like to create your own custom city guide. You guys can do that inside of here. You can save it to your own library database. That is the your items area. And I would recommend if you guys are bringing over a city guide and kind of adding in your own expertise, um, save it to your library so you don't have to redo it again. Okay. Do that. Your library is an awesome tool to use to save you a bunch of time. Okay, and so we'll kind of talk a little bit more about um, pricing in here. So you can see I've added in pricing in different, you know, events. You could do it that way. Um, you could add in pricing up here, you know, make it the price per person or the actual total. Um, the description area is a great spot to break down pricing. So you could add in that information there. Um, if you wanted to, you could also tie in pricing in that info and docs area. I've seen some people do that where they actually create, you know, a new informational item. Uh, maybe they give it, a title and they just have pricing plus information. And then they plug in, in the notes area of that breakdown and they maybe use that table tool. So just ideas on where you guys could add in that information. Um, it's really up to you. All right. And now we're going to get into how do I share this with my clients? We're going to get into that process now. So top right hand corner, we're going to go up here to share and send. Um, you're going to see PDF. You always have that option to, to export a PDF. Um, preview, I would encourage you guys to preview before you do click send. And so we'll do that just to kind of give you all the visuals. So this is that proposal. And you'll see at the very top right hand corner, there's approved proposal. They can click that button to approve eventually. It's going to have that image, your contact information. And then here's what that looks like. So this is that final product of what you can give your clients. They can scroll through. They can open up these photos. They can click around on these different days here to jump, you know, into, um, yeah, see all the information essentially. So it's all interactive. So again, I just encourage everyone to preview their trip before you do send it off. When you're ready, you're going to go up here, send, you're going to have two options. You're going to see get trip link and email and my clients. When you press get trip link, you're just copying that web link. This is what you're copying. You're copying this link right here. This is a shareable link. You can share that with anyone 
through any kind of channel there. The other option is to press email invite clients. And I like to always kind of touch on this one. Um, when you do this option, there's going to be some tracking involved inside of there. You can see if it was delivered and sent all that good stuff. Um, you'll simply just put in their email address. You can type in a custom message right here. And when they get that email, it's going to present itself. And of course, a beautiful um, mobile friendly email and their instructions to view their trip. So when they do get that, it's going to have a cover photo, the title, and it's going to say view online. So they can't miss it. Um, they will get to this spot then when they're viewing it online. And then, so this is how they can view the information. And when they're ready to approve, they're going to click approve. Now, if you did present something with different options, just wanted to kind of cover, you know, Hey, how can we communicate those options? So a few different options for you. You can click on the web chat here. You can actually message each other right here. So this is that online kind of chat service. Um, you can, you know, say, Hey, I you know, love this. Let's do it. Let's book it. Um, that's going to show back up inside of here in your discussion area. So there's my little hi. You can work inside of there, make any changes that you need to. That's going to update in real time for them. Um, another thing, and I didn't showcase this here, but I did in yesterday's webinar, you can actually bring in a form. So forms in Travify, they're used to capture client information. That's kind of a great way to, you know, capture client selections for a proposal. So you can always share that form link up right up here in that description area. We're going to go ahead and approve this. So I'm going to go ahead and click on approve and they're going to see this window where they plug in um, their name, their information. And I have um, for today, I actually have Tommy training camp. He's going to go inside of there and Tommy's got an email and it's a long one, not a real <laughs> one. <laughs> so we're going to plug that inside of here. Um, we'll approve that. And then they will see a success screen. So they get this little congratulations. Now, whenever this is happening, they are getting an email with a hard copy of that approved proposal. You guys are also getting notified. You're getting an email from notification at travify.com, letting you know so-and-so Tommy training camp has approved this proposal. And so what happens with that is when you open that up, you'll see it's approved, but let me take you back at the very beginning. If you go back to your trips page, this is actually going to show you, here's the trip. It's approved. There you go. Here's your hard copy too. You guys are going to get that. There's your hard copy. Um, you can see here, the type has changed to itinerary. This is where you guys can always manually change the type here. And when you're ready to, you're just going to click on edit. And this is essentially where you come back into to kind of finalize that particular trip. So maybe you remove certain cabin options. Um, maybe, you know, you know, now what you're going to be working with. We'll go down to the 17th. That's where it was at. Um, maybe you take this out or you tweak it, add things to it. And what you can also do is add in confirmation numbers. So for those different excursions, maybe is there confirmation numbers, Kathy? Do they have those, you know, whenever you do book an excursion, they'd be adding that um, inside of here. So you can certainly do that. So again, you just kind of come in, finalize it. And then what you can do is send this off. So if you wanted to click on send again, you can go ahead and email them an invite here. Now this is, I'm going to update automatically for them. They have that link, but I always encourage resending it. it just kind of gives them those uh, directions again, but it's also going to give them access to our mobile apps that we have. So for your clients, if you guys didn't know about this, Travify does um, include our mobile apps. So when you do send them the invite through here, plug in their name, their email, they're actually going to get an, an invite that has instructions on how to view their trip. And there'll be a button to add or, basically download the mobile app and that is called trip plans. We're going to get into that. So when I preview this here again, you'll see at the very top how it's changed. So this is what's different for your client at that itinerary stage. You're going to get PDF and then there's that app option. So we're going to give them directions. We're going to help them get that mobile app, sync that up very easily. Since we're on a desktop, we're seeing this message here where it says, Hey, you know, email the magic link to your device. You want to encourage them to open the email on their mobile device. That way we connect to their app store right away. And so if they're here, we push them to that. If they're opening it up on their mobile device, I just want to give you guys a little walkthrough on the trip plans and Travify Pro mobile app. So um, this is what that icon looks like. You'll see that this is for your clients. They're going to use trip plans. And I'm going to scroll down. We have a little demo here. Yeah, this guy right here. So you can see it says trip plans in here. This is what your clients will experience. It's very easy to use. You click on the day to navigate, go back here. 
You can actually um, communicate as well. So there is a communication tool. There's a chat option. Um, this is, you are in there with your clients. Um, if you don't want that to happen, you guys can turn that off, but I know a lot of people love that. Um, they can message you as they're on their trip. You guys can communicate. And since your clients have an app, you guys do too, that is called Travify Pro. It's going to allow you guys to view all of your trip details, um, all of your trips and communicate with your clients as you're moving around and you know, you're, you're on the go. All right. And so that really is, man, that's kind of it for going over, um, cruises and proposals and itineraries. Um, last thing, maybe just to kind of mention would be, you know, sharing this maybe for, for marketing purposes. And, um, Kathy, you want to kind of add to that? I know you got some tips there. Yeah. Um, no, that was great. Um, every It's really easy to build cruise itineraries. And um, just a couple of things that I want to point out is the itinerary that you bring over from the cruise lines or the tour companies, you are not stuck with content. We still want to make sure it's relevant and specific for our clients. So for example, if the content that comes over talks about children's activities, and this is for a honeymoon, delete that out. Same thing with the pictures. Make sure the pictures match the client you're trying to sell to um, so that they can see themselves on this vacation. Also at the top in the banner where Haley has starting at, that's just a personal thing that I like to do because we know clients will lock in to the very first number they see. And so using the word starting at gives you the flexibility to upsell and um, offer, have different offers. The other thing I like to point out is the banner doesn't just have to be about what the trip is or the location. Also, you can put in the banner where it says starting at 5,000, and you can also add the words in there, quote, valid through, and pick your date. You can even add the time. If you want this quote valid for 48 hours, then put it on the date and time, 48 hours from the time you're gonna send it. Because this banner can actually you know, be all the information you need to share about how long it's good for, how much is it going to cost, where are they going, what are the dates. And then once they accept it or you narrow it down, you can still change the banner again. And then once it's a final itinerary, just take out the price and just have it say the destination and the dates. Absolutely. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. So uh, the other thing I wanted to, if you could show is that yeah. if you are doing maybe two couples and they're taking two different flights to the same cruise, so 95% of this itinerary is gonna be exactly the same, but they're on two different flights, you can actually just have each couple see their own flights, but only have to manage one itinerary. And this is great for any groups. Um, so you don't have to manage two, four, six, eight, ten 10 for different people who mostly have the same information. Maybe you can show them that. Yeah, I'm actually just adding people to the trip right now. So um, Kathy added you inside of there. Um, I'm adding people to the trip so I can tag them to specific flights. And so when I send this off to my travelers, they're only going to see the flights that pertain to them. And so I've added them to the trip. And now what I can do is go to that flight. Let's say this is for Kathy. Um, she's taken off from uh, John F. Kennedy International Airport. So I'm gonna click on the pencil. I'm going to go down here to people and you can see it's set for everybody, but I want this just to show for her. So I'm actually going to go here, only specific people, and then I can tag her in it and you'll see her name show up. And then I'll go right here too. We'll add her to the arrival. Only specific people again. There we go. Done. Now that I've added her, let me preview this. So as the agent, you know, Travify user, I'm going to be able to see everything. I get this option viewing as everyone. I can narrow this down now and you can see everyone. So here are those flights. If I change this over to John Doe, those flights go away. So that was not, you know, for, for him, that was not pertaining to him. Um, if I change this to Kathy, there you go. And so automatically when you do send that email um, through Travify, that is going to give them that unique trip. So it's all going to be handled um, nicely for you. Yeah, that, that's a really great tool to use for groups. Because again, I don't want to manage 10 different things. If they all decide to add an excursion or they had a dining reservation and they changed the time, I don't want to change that 10 times. I just want to change it one time and yep, then send it again. Uh huh. And then I also noticed somebody also said in there, they always give firm deadlines for deposits. That is so important these days. We know clients mm -hmm. will get a proposal and sometimes sit on it for a week, a month, even six months and say, well, we're ready. Now we want the price. Well, that price was gone 
six months ago. So making sure you give hard deadlines of deposits is really, really important to keep that conversation moving. Yep. And I think a great spot is this description area just because it shows up at the top. It's always there whenever they're viewing that link. This area shows up at the very top right below that cover photo. So they can't miss it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Also remember that the photo at the top and the banner does not have to be a destination. If you are working on a honeymoon or couples, they love to see pictures of themselves. See if you can't go to their wedding website, get a picture of them and put that in That's as a great idea instead. Yeah. There you go. All right. Well, that any extra insider tips, Kathy, anything there that you want to add? Or are you? I think the most important thing is, you know, uh, there's a lot of shoppers out there. So they may be calling you, but they may be calling 10 people. Um, some people are going to send them just a quick email quote, maybe copy and paste. Some might have a Word document. You can make this very personal. And yours is going to shine and stand out compared to what anybody else is sending, to be quite honest. But the most important things is to really review the information when you bring over that content. And again, make sure it's relevant for that client. It only takes a few minutes. It already came over seamlessly for you and just match it up as best you can so that they can see themselves on the trip. Because in a sense, this is your brochure. This is the sales brochure that you're presenting to them. Perfect. All right. Well, I'll I, hand it back to you, Thanks, Stephanie. Yeah, I have tons of questions. Are you ready? <laughs> um, so right. there's so many. And again, everybody, um, I'm trying to answer um, as many as I can, but also um, I realize we probably won't be able to get through them all. So shoot us an email at professional at .com or chat us in your account. Um, but one burning question that a couple of people had asked is how do you delete trips? It's a simple one, oh, but it yeah, is a good one, no. you know? It's a goodie. It's a goodie. Yeah. Um, yeah. So here, here's what you can do. And I'll, I'll do an example here. So if I click on the actual trip here to my right, what you're going to do first is archive. And so we do make it a two-step process for you on, on purpose. Um, we don't want you guys just deleting out trips by accident. We've had that happen uh, before. So it's two-step. You just click on archive. After that though, check it, check this out. Look, the button changes for me to delete and I can completely delete this from my Travify. Now, if you just archive it, you, it's gonna sit over here and archived. You can see there it is, um, that TC Cruise itinerary, that's now an archived. So you can certainly, if trips are kind of in season or out of season and you have templates built up, archived is a great folder to use to just kind of store things inside of there. When you're done, you can bring them back. Maybe they're back in season. You can unarchive un them or you can just delete them out. Cool. And I saw two other questions I'd like to answer real quick. One is um, uh, if you want to show a lot of people what they've been doing is they turn off the proposal for viewing. So if you want to set an oh, expiration nice. date to receive a deposit for them to make a decision, you can actually turn off the viewing so they can't see it again. Mm -hmm. If you want to show that. Yep, that is right they, here. So. Then they have no choice but to reach back out to you to again to continue that conversation of getting that cruise from you. Yeah, you can make a proposal or itinerary hidden. And when you do that, this is kind of the message that they would be seeing then. So yeah. your agent is currently working on the trip and it's going to give them your contact information so that way they can reach out to you. Yeah. The second thing is somebody did ask about group cruises and yeah, you can absolutely use this for marketing. Uh, if you have an affinity group that you're booking into, go ahead and bring over the group cruise as long as it's a published cruise with any of the lines and not something that was specifically put together a charter or something. Bring over the details. You can add the information, still put a starting out price. You can create those tables or grids to show what the options are going to be. And then you can share the link uh, to market this affinity group. If you're with a host agency that has group space or, or things like that. Mm -hmm. Awesome. That's so cool. Look at all these uh, hot tips. <laughs> Love it. Um, uh, Haley, I have kind of a fun one for you. Um, sure. this, this is going to bring in the new library sharing feature. Um, a lot of people had asked about the, so the don't forget insurance event that you have that oh. you were using. Mm -hmm. A lot of people were asking if they could get that. And I figured there is an easy way to share that with the library. So do you mind grabbing that link and sharing that um, in the chat? Or you can send it to me yeah. and I can put it in there too. Yeah, um, I'll do that. So just grabbing my Yeah, and you can show them how. Item. So let me search for this trip insurance. This that one. one. Yep. That's yep. the one. And so this is a little, I guess, a sneak peek. Uh, this will be more explored in other sessions, but I can share 
um, I can choose to share to library and just grab this link. And then I'll send that. Do you want that in the the chat, Stephanie? Is that? Yeah, if you could put that in the chat. To send it to you? Yeah. you can send it to me if you want, and I can put it in there too, whichever is easiest for you. I think I'm just going to post it. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so that was just went to panelists. So let me re. Oh, I know just... it gets tricky with the um, Zoom yeah. uh, chat. Yeah. Okay, there we I go. I can slack that over to you. Cool. No, nope, you got, got it? it. There it is. Perfect. So yeah, there, there that was a, a lot of people wanted that one. Um, another big question um, was when you're doing proposals for cruises, how do you handle multiple cruises? Like how do you, how would someone do that when they're trying to put in the different cruise options? Yeah. So you have a few different options. One, if, if you want to bring in like the entire cruise, like I did. So I picked the date and it built out the rest of my days. Um, if you, I wouldn't add a second cruise, you know, onto that same itinerary, if you're building it out like that, um, maybe you would start, you know, a different trip actually, and add in all those details, just cause if you, you know, bring in, if you double up on cruising, you bring in both automatically through our system, it's going to have you know, that embarkation. Um, and you're not going to be able to really, you know, see, you know, which one ends where. So I think if you're pulling it in, you're going to create another trip for that, but you could, um, you could just use one. You could use one and you could do something like this. So hopefully I'm just going to try and paint a picture. I'm not going to bring in a whole thing here, but I'm just jumping into an itinerary. And so I could go here to add in an, an event and I could go to cruise and I would basically add in some information manually. So you might plug in, you know, the cruise title here and you could say like option one. And then in the notes area, that's where you add in the, the itinerary the details. And it could be just kind of a simple bullet points, really, you know, you could do something like this is, you know, destination. Here we go. You get the idea. You, you have the next days, the following days. Um, you could add it in this way. And then you could simply, you know, maybe have a different day. So this is your cruise option one. A bit more manual, but it's doable. That's okay. There's my day one. <laughs> Cruise opposite. There we go. It's okay. They're, they're out of order. Um, no big deal. No big deal. See what I just did moving things around. I can move this back here. So you could, you know, add in the information manually. You can kind of set it up this way where you have cruise option one, cruise option two, and then you just use the event itself to add in all the details in that notes area. Um, maybe it's a simple copy and paste too, if you have that directly from the cruise line. Um, Stephanie, Kathy, anything to add to that? I, hopefully that answers. Um, yeah, I think, you know, you again, have to be mindful of who you're selling to, right? We have people that are going to be able to look at one itinerary, open links, decipher a lot of information, make their choices, but you're also going to have people that um, it's better to keep things separate for them. In which case, what I would do is I would go ahead and build a template with the appropriate dates, um, expiration dates, everything at the top in the banner. And then I would make a copy of that and bring over mm -hmm. the appropriate cruise and in the banner, go ahead and label, uh, name it in the banner, option one, Greece, option two, Greece. Yep. Um, you could put the name of the ships, the name of the line as well, but that way they have three separate things that they can focus on individually because, um, you know, every client's different. We have to, we kind of have to create things that are going to work for them. Absolutely. And I don't have specific proposals for cruises, but you'll see here, I have just general, I have a lot of different proposal types for like all inclusives and I have different set, you know, sets up set, geez, can't talk different ways to set them up. Um, you could do kind of like one day where you have in all the information, you could do a multi-day or yeah. just have an kind of the all inclusive, um, specific categories. And so Kathy mentioned copy. So that is over here, guys. Um, and when you click on a trip, you're going to have the option to copy right there. So create, create a template with all the information. Like she said, all the important details, maybe in your description, you know, um, where you can just kind of plug and play. So copy it and then build upon that particular um, itinerary from there. I also saw a couple of questions about saving and library items. Um, make sure that when you're saving library items that, um, you know, travel is very fluid and so is insurance right now. Things are changing by the day. So if you're going to create a template or a specific insurance policy, 
make sure that you're checking it every time you bring it over, at least for now, because we know uh, because of COVID, a lot of the rules are changing. Um, so library, you want to create as generic templates. Um, make sure, same thing with hotel descriptions, um, you know, ground transportation. I probably wouldn't say flights as templates or anything that's going to be changing quickly. Um, and then you can just you know, put in the details. If you're bringing over ground transportation, you can have all the information on that transfer um, and then just put in the name of the driver, his cell phone, what their cost is going to be. Those are awesome. One thing, by the way, to go, uh, just to go to um, like adding those different options in there, Denise said, this is a really good idea. I never even thought about this. She said, um, she'll add the cruise and then remove the dates so that she oh, gets yeah. all the cruise info and details. And then, mm -hmm. um, and then we'll save it to her library. So you can do that with like the multi events. So you could, um, I mean, there's a lot of different things you could do, but that's a good idea. Yeah, that is a good idea. Never thought yeah. of that. Yeah. So, nice, yeah. Denise. Yeah. Yeah. Especially for people. Are, things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you if you're doing FITs and that includes a, a group in the middle or something, you can definitely do that. Yeah. Um, Haley, another big one too, um, that a lot of people were asking were, um, how do you insert um like days before? Because a lot of times with the pre and post trips, um, I think a lot of times people um, aren't sure how to add like a day before that. And sure. if you could just show that. I will show that. I'm, I'm actually was just kind of doing Denise's thing right here. I was going to take, <laughs> just take do, out the day. We just yeah, want to do, like, it so oh, do it so bad now. I want to do it. So here, um, I'll, I'll do that too. I'll show you how to add a, add a date in, at the beginning. So here I brought over that cruise. So yeah, you could definitely um, remove the dates. You just go up here. Bam, gone. And then it changes to day one, but you can adjust the titles right here to whatever you'd like. Now I'm going to plug that date back in so we can just have kind of a visual to go off of here. Um, the 17th of April. And, um, here's how you guys could, so let's say, oh, I, I brought in my cruise. I forgot to add in those dates, you know, the pre-cruise dates before, how do I add them now? Easy scroll down here to plus new day, click on that. And you simply change the date here of April 25th to the 16th or, you know, the, the, the 15th, however you want to do that. We'll do the 15th like we did before. There you go. Scroll up. There it is. And so I've added in that particular day. Um, I can click on it. I can start adding an information to it. You'll see the 16th has no events. Um, when you guys see this, that's normal. This actually is going to show up here or it will not show up on that online itinerary. So you can see there's the 15th. There's nothing on the 16th. So it's kind of like a hidden day, essentially. It's, it's here though. So you can always add events clicking on it. You can add events then, and that will change now. If I refresh here, you'll see there, there's the 16th. So that's how you guys can add in a day at the very beginning. Hey, Hannah, can you go back to the screen that shows all the deck plans? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, um, somebody had asked about deck plans, why show all the deck plans? Because if you're, if you're gonna allow people to choose a cabin or you are recommending certain cabins on certain decks, personally, I wanna know what's gonna be above and below me when I'm cruising. I don't want to be that's underneath something that's yep. going to be super booming loud. That's just me. But that's why all deck plans are always brought over so that people can kind of get uh, their position where they might want to be on the ship. And if you do want to remove something, you you absolutely can. That, yeah. that notes area is, you guys can edit that information. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's great. I know. I love those, those deck plans. It's so cool. Yeah. That's really awesome. Um, well, it looks like we're coming right up on time, but there is one last question that um, I definitely want you to uh, go over because a lot of people ask about it is, what is the difference? So when it comes to the mobile apps, what's the difference between the Travify Pro app and the Trip Plans app? So the Trip Plans app is for your travelers. That is what they are going to use to view the information. Travify Pro is the app that you guys use as the user. And um, it does look very similar inside of there, but the Travify Pro app, it's gonna give you access to all of your trips. So all of your trips, and you can communicate with all of your customers. Your trip plans app is just going to, you know, your clients are just gonna be able to access their trip or in other, if you shared multiple trips with them, they can access all their trips in that one area. 
awesome. Oh man, we could be here for so long. Yeah, let's stay. Let's stay for another hour. Another <laughs> hour. I know. If only this weren't training camp, you know, we have, uh, we're just moving, moving, moving. And okay. So speaking of that, I'm going to take over. I'm going to share my screen. Yes. Take so over. we're going to lose Haley's. Okay. So I lost, lost my face. <laughs> lost, lost her face. Oh, okay. Okay, we're back to what I needed. Um, so, uh, yeah, Wendy said it goes by so fast. It really does. It's in, it's insane when you think about it in an hour. You're like, plenty of time. Never is. Yeah. Never is. <laughs> um, but we do have another session coming up. So we'll give you about a half an hour break. And then um, the next one coming up will be uh, marketing and sales tips using Travify. So you may or may not see some of the things. You know, Kathy and Haley had a lot of great tips. So we'll try to give you more, you know, just keep them coming you know, so yeah. lots of things, <laughs> but and by the way, I am going to be at Cruise Through 60 next week. So yes. any of you are attending, yeah. please stop by the booth and say hi. Yes, please do. Yeah. Kathy and Kendra will be there um, in the nice, warm, beautiful, sunny Florida. Oh, yes. Yeah. Sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm jealous. This is awesome. Well, thank you so much, everyone. Right. And thanks everyone. We'll see you at the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye.